After the end of the Second World War, 41 men were put in trial in Krakow, Poland for their roles in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Of the men who were tried for war crimes in the Auschwitz trials, 40 were found guilty and one was found innocent. This man, on whose behalf former prisoners testified in favour of, will be the subject of our video today, Dr. Hans Munch. Dr. Munch was from Bavaria and studied to become a doctor. While in school, he was active in the Reichsstudentsführung's political section, and in 1934, he joined the National Socialist German Students League and the National Socialist Motor Corps. He became a licensed physician in 1939. During the war, he initially filled the roles of the country doctors that went to fight in the war. He attempted to enlist in the Wehrmacht, but was rejected as his work as a doctor was considered more important. In 1943, he was recruited as a scientist by the SS and sent to a facility near Auschwitz. He worked alongside none other than Josef Mengele, the infamous angel of death responsible for some of the worst war crimes of the European theatre. Munch's research was primarily bacteriological, as it had been before the war, though he also participated in inspections of the camp and its prisoners. But Munch was different from the other doctors at Auschwitz. He valued the Hippocratic Oath above his loyalty to the SS and refused to participate in the selection of prisoners that would doom them to either work, experimentation or death. Munch worked to save the lives of as many prisoners at Auschwitz as he could and often went to great lengths to do so. He did conduct human experiments but this was primarily to save lives and to keep people away from the gas chambers. According to witness testimony, his last act before evacuating Auschwitz in 1945 was to give one of the prisoners a revolver to aid an escape attempt. Munch was eventually captured and was arrested and extradited to Poland when it was discovered that he worked at Auschwitz. He stood trial in Krakow with 40 other men, all of whom were being tried for war crimes during their time at Auschwitz. But something extraordinary happened during these trials. Many former prisoners at Auschwitz came forward to testify on his behalf, and in 1947, Munch was acquitted of all charges. Munch spent much of his later life as a local doctor, as he had before the war, and participated in several commemoration ceremonies. On the 50th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz, Munch returned to the camp, per an invitation by a survivor of Mengele's experiments, where the two signed public declarations that such atrocities must never be allowed to happen again. Though statements during his struggles with dementia in his later years sparked a few controversies, he lived out most of his life in peace and died in 2001. So that's the story of Dr. Hans Munch, the SS scientist that was nicknamed the Good Man of Auschwitz. It's a positive story from one of the worst places on earth, and it just goes to show that even in the heart of evil, there's always a scrap of good somewhere. As always guys, it's always appreciated if you check out our Patreon and even consider donating, as our channel is blacklisted by YouTube, meaning we get no revenue from the videos we produce. But as per usual guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I'll see you in the next one as well.